Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another additional Creatures 2 Creature Spotlight video. And we're up to the Oxalia so far, which this guy, this beastie, uh, relatively recently went under a little bit of a uh, a rework. Uh, not so much on the abilities of the creature, but the looks. And it, I have to say, it was very well done. I don't know how this turned out. So it is definitely a Spinosaur. I mean, you can tell that. Fully bipedal. And, uh, and it's a passive tame, actually. Now, where did you go? Alright, so. For well, our attacks, we have. Left click on a bite. Right click is a double hit claw attack. Well, at times. Sometimes it'll just randomly decide that only once. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the thing is. C attack is a roar, which is another one of the uh, torpor training roars. Hey, there you are. And you can tell they're relatively quick. Uh, walk speed's kind of slow, run speed's not bad. One thing that's kind of cool is you actually sit on the side of the sail instead of in the front. Which I th thought was just an you know, excellent view. And in first person, yeah, you're definitely definitely on the side here. Now, if you hit R, automatically dismounts you. And unfortunately, I glitched into the saddle. But the, uh, the Oxalia will sit down. Now, while sitting, slightly increases the health rate. And you're unable to mount it, so you have to go here, read on the menu, tell it to stand back up again. Which is kind of cool. Uh, they are immune to venom and radiation. And yes, there is an aberrant version of the Oxalia. Now, these things, they're pretty passive when you get down to it. But, uh, there's that shark from the last one. Or with the narwhal, I should say. There we go. But uh, if they detect a corpse, they will come running for it, roaring, and uh, which, by the way, they can roar while moving, which is kind of kind of handy, actually. The heck? Huh? What was that? Okay, sorry. Distractions. Acropy setter. Oh, okay. We'll be covering that whenever I get around to doing the Aquaria spotlights. But, uh, they also have the RG regen buff. So, they eat a corpse, they get the green sparkles of the, you know, the RG gets, and gives them improved health regen, which makes them actually pretty good. But it's, uh, that's basically it when you get down to it. Uh, they are fairly lightweight for their size. Uh, at least health-wise, they're a little lower than you'd expect from something roughly the size of a Spino. And uh, pretty decent weight. They level up melee like a champ, though. So they can actually, uh, I would definitely, you know, keep these guys on a list for doing boss fights. Especially anything that spawns minions in, because then they'll get their health regen buff. And it's a it's pretty decent amount of uh, health regen, too. But like I said, they're passive tame. You just walk up to them, uh, feed them either like, you know, prime meat, mutton, or uh, extraordinary kibble. Is it extraordinary or is it exceptional? Let me double check here. I don't want to get the wrong information. It is. Extraordinary. Uh, like I said, though, they do come charging after corpses, so be careful. Uh, spawn basically rivers and swamps. So, you know, while you're fighting things in there, be careful because these guys can come charging out. And if you hit them by accident, they do turn fully aggressive and come after you. So, just one of those things to kind of watch out for. But at the same time, if you're passive taming them, you can use corpses to uh, lure them away from the area if you want. But thank you for coming out. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next one, sign signing out, have fun.